We're here with women's co-head coach Brooke Store. Uh, it's National Signing Day for the fall. Uh, it looks like a maybe not a big class in terms of numbers that you guys have brought here to Natchitoches, but it's a, a class that's certainly not lacking in size. It looked like you guys had a target which was to get a little bit bigger and it looks like you hit that target right on the head. Uh, well, we, we need some post depth and that was a, an area we feel like we addressed very well. Um, we got four, four bigs and um, I think when you look at each of them, they each bring something different to the table. Um, and that's something that we're very excited about. We obviously, when we look at um, our post players, we want someone that's versatile, that can put the ball on the floor, that can shoot the three, that forces um, a, a defense to have to come out and stretch and guard on the perimeter um, to help with our spacing and, and running our offense. So we got some players that um, I think will definitely fill the role um, and help with that post step inside. Cheyenne Brown looking at the numbers she's put up at Martins Mill, Texas uh, High School. Uh, she looks like a double-double machine. You average a double-double your first three years of high school no matter what level, you're doing something right. She is, and she's one of those workers inside that just is constantly moving, is constantly active. She has a really good um, high energy level. Um, and I think that the thing about it is she's grown up in a program that's been very successful. Um, and so she's seen that modeled uh, by people in front of her, and she just kind of stepped in and started doing the same thing. Has been coached very well by um, Coach Jenkins and their staff there at Martins Mill. And, um, I think Cheyenne's going to just have that blue collar work ethic for us and it fits very well into what we do. And a strong student in the classroom as well, 4.47 grade point average. She's been at the state level, not just basketball, but the academic competitions in Texas. And I know that's, again, something you and your staff stress. You don't want them just to be athletes, you want them to be student athletes as well. Absolutely. Um, I think that when you look at what we do offensively and how we like to play and what we want to execute, we have to have people that can think and process quickly. Um, I want people that I can count on um, that are going to be ready to go, that want to be successful, and, and I think this class definitely is that. Um, Cheyenne is an extremely um, good student and um, wants to be successful, wants to be a teacher and um, a math teacher, and I think uh, will be a very good one one day. Moving along to Gabby Jackson from Benton. She actually has a local tie from what I understand her mother is a graduate here of Northwestern State. The family lived in Natchitoches. So a little bit of a homecoming for her when uh, when she arrives next fall. Absolutely, I think it was a, a comfort level level for Gabby and uh, she came to camp this summer, we'd watched her the last couple of years and um, she was just really, really coachable, has a great personality, great energy um, on the floor on both ends, really runs the floor well, um, goes in, and gets rebounds, is very active, can get up and, and guard on the perimeter as well as inside, um, is, is actually playing at Benton High School and, and Former Lady Demon, um, Lindsey Green, now McConathy, um, is an assistant coach there with Mary Ward. And um, I think she'll do a great job um, for them this season, and we're excited to have her here. Statistically, she's grown, Gabby's grown from an honorable mention, all district selection, to an all city player of the year type there at Benton. So obviously the, the trajectory is what you'd like to see is someone that's improved and like you said she's very coachable as well. Absolutely. I think her best basketball is ahead of her. I think that um, she's eager to learn. Um, you, as you said in, in the rise in her numbers through the years, um, I think that's evident that she's a worker and she's going to get better um, as, as she's put in different situations. And it seems that's the same story for Emerald Mayfield, uh, power forward out of Arlington Bowie High School in, in the Metroplex over there in Arlington, Texas. Uh, kind of the same thing. She's really grown. Her team went undefeated in district last season and got to the uh, regional semifinals, I believe. Absolutely. Um, Emerald is a, a versatile player for us that's going to uh, be able to face the rim, put the ball on the floor, can shoot the three, is a very good passer, very crafty with the basketball, um, can take you down low and power it up and, and be very physical inside. So I think she's going to uh, bring a lot to that. Again, it comes. she comes from a winning program. Coach Carruthers has done a great job of getting that Bowie team um, into the playoffs and deep into the playoffs. So uh, we're excited about what she brings to the table. Also a very good student and um, looking forward to adding to that post step. It seems to be just a very resolute, strong kid given what her mother's going through at this point. Uh, definitely. I think that, um, you know, when, when someone faces some adversity, it's, it's interesting to see how they handle it. And uh, we've been able to see that um, throughout the summer with um, how that she's dealt with her mother's illness and um, kind of the strength and support she gets from her family. And um, she's, she's a neat kid, and we're excited that uh, we get to go through the next four years with her. And adding to this class, you, we've talked about the post players, but Brene Thompson, uh, one of the few guards you've added, uh, and 5'8", not small either, but 
again, versatile, can take it to the basket and also step out and shoot the three. She's a very, very good shooter. Um, she's a lefty, and we haven't had a lefty since we've been here in the two years um, in Natchitoches, and um, she, can, she can light it up from three. Uh, we're excited to see her um, be able to, to grow into her, what we do offensively with our system, and um, when you can shoot it like she can, uh, it really forces defenses to come out and guard you, and she has the ability to get by people and um, get to the rim and finish. So. Uh, from a guard standpoint, she's going to add a lot to the mix. And playing in Houston, she came from an area that produces a lot of talent, so she's faced a lot of top-tier type players. Definitely. And I think that's the same with all of these kids. You know, the playing on the summer circuits, they've faced some of the best players in the country and uh, not just in their area. So it's, it's neat to see them against that level of competition during the summers and the spring um, in the fall with their, with their club teams as well.